Hey, Creative Writing. This lesson is for Tuesday, April 7th, 2020. Uh, today, I'm going to be just kind of talking about what we're going to be doing in this class. I'm going to make it very brief, and then we're going to get our digital journal set up, and you will have your first writing prompt. So a little bit about what we do in Creative Writing. Um, Creative Writing 1 will give you the opportunity to learn about and practice a variety of genres and styles. So when we think about creative writing, a lot of time we just go straight to fiction and writing. And that's true. We're going to do that for sure. Um, but there is so much more to it that is what makes it fun and what makes me so excited about it and passionate about it. Because there's many different genres of writing that you don't always get to tap into in your English classes for sake of time, which sucks. Um, but you get to do all of that in this class. And so we are going to be writing microfiction, flash fiction, nonfiction, um, journalistic type interview pieces, um, short stories, poetry, and the list goes on. Now, we're not going to be able to do as much as we would have done if we were in person, but I'm going to try to give you a taste of everything. And my goal is to just give you the chance to write and to try new things and to see what you enjoy and what you don't like, because there's going to be things that you don't like. There's things I don't like to write. So um, that's what we're going to be doing. The learning targets for this class are, of course, creative writing, close reading, revision, and collaboration and discussion. Again, all of these targets are going to be achieved using new strategies because of our digital setting. But I still think there's going to be ways for us to do these tasks um, and have the opportunity to master some new skills in creativity and in writing. Materials that you're going to need are pretty simple. You all should have a computer now um, or have gotten a device from the school. And then what we're talking about today is rather than having like a notebook and food and binder or something tangible like that, you are going to be creating a Google Drive folder and a digital journal. So uh, the reason why I want to get this set up today is because this is how the gradebook kind of works out for creative writing. Again, none of this is set in stone. We're learning this day by day and how we're going to end up doing assignment. Um, but there's no reason why we can't get started because it's what I want you to do no matter what. Formative assessment in the class is 20% of your grade. Formative assessment is practice. Um, so it's writing prompts that I assign or small projects that I assign. Um, I'm not going to be collecting and checking as much as I would if we were seeing each other every day, but there's still going to be um, motivation and uh, accountability in terms of doing your daily work. And then the other portion is the portfolio, half of which will be complete at midterm. And then, of course, the final writing portfolio, which is also your CSA at the end of the try. Essentially, as we move our way through these different genres, you're going to be writing pieces and writing prompts for each genre. And then in the end, I'll be collecting your favorite pieces and assessing your growth as a writer. And there'll be opportunities for you to revise everything. So uh, formative assessments, writing is a creative process and practice is absolutely essential. Um, you become a better writer by doing it often. And it does take discipline. Um, and it takes accountability and it takes some guidance, which is what I'm here for. So giving you prompts and things to write on is what I'm searching for. My goal is that you write for 10 to 15 minutes every day. Honestly, that's not that much. Um, if you sit down and put your headphones in and just allow yourself to type for 10 or 15 minutes, you'd be surprised how quickly that time goes. And yet you are practicing and learning a really um, amazing skill. And then the summative will be the portfolio, like I said. So there will be a piece from each genre that I teach, um, and you will have the opportunity to get feedback on those pieces and revise them and ultimately create a portfolio of creative writing. So this is the setup that I want you to do today. I'm not sure how organized your Google Drive folders are, um, but now is the time to make sure that they're really organized for all this online learning. Um, I know a lot of times when I look over a student's shoulder and they're showing me Google Docs, like their Google Docs aren't named, their folders aren't organized, they're trying to search through just this list of documents, all of these different classes. And I will tell you now, you are just wasting your own time. Like, There's a really easy way to stay organized in Google Drive, and it'll help you now um, and in the future. 
So your setup is to create a Google Drive folder for this class to create a new Google Doc where you will do all of your writing. It's gonna be your digital journal. To create a separate Google Doc for note-taking. And then we're gonna talk about how those docs will be structured. This is my Google Drive. If you were to look at my drive, it's completely organized into all of these different folders, which can be very overwhelming. Um, but once you click into the folder itself, I have these smaller folders for each genre, and this has each folder is where I keep my slides and my readings and my worksheets that I create for you and different assignments that I am building at all the time so I can find them really easily. And you can see here, if you look at the top, I have a really clear name for each of the documents that I work with as well so I can find them really fast. You're also able to click the star and that's how you favorite your um, documents that you work with the most. And then those are going to pop up under the starred here. So if you have, these are all really old, but if you even star like five things that you're opening all of the time for your classes, maybe it's your notes, maybe it's the journal for creative writing, that'll pop up right away and you can find it. You can also find that in the recent tab here. Um, so these are the things that I've worked on the most recently. But what I want you to do is to create one of these folders and then to create a new doc and you should be creating two new docs one is going to be your journal and one is going to be your notes for this class i would like for those to stay separate just so that your writing is in one place and your notes are in another place um so your google doc this one for instance will be your journal so you can call this whatever you want personally i would label it first with the class and then I would give it a name, all right? And how I want you to organize your journal is every day I want you to put the date down. And then I also want you to label it with the writing prompt. So for today, for instance, your first prompt is going to be the 16 personalities test. And you're taking that prompt, the test that we took and you're turning it into a writing prompt. And then below it is where you're going to do your writing. Then tomorrow, if I gave you a separate writing prompt, I'd want you to put it above. So the newest writing prompt should always go at the top. So then that would be April 3rd, 2020, a new prompt, a new writing. Okay. It doesn't have to be fancy, um, but this way it's really organized. And then you're able to, when I eventually see these journals, um, when I ask to see them, I'm able to identify which writing has been completed, what prompt you responded to, et cetera. So, not a lot of work, but it's going to keep you organized. Okay. So what is this digital journal going to be? Your online journal will be one Google Doc where you continue to add to each day. This is where you should respond to all of the writing prompts I assign. Even if they're like short little snippets for a mini lesson, I want you to do all of your writing in the same place. This formative writing should be free. I want you to express yourself and I want you to try new things and to take risks. Give yourself permission to write something messy or bad. If you sort of like it, you can improve it later. I think that's the biggest mental shift that my creative writing students have to do is so often I'll assign a writing prompt and they're like, how long should it be? What should it look like? Can you give me an example? All fair questions because your classes have kind of trained you to do that, to, to know that there's an expectation and you want to meet it. I'm asking you to break down those expectations for this class because I am breaking down the expectations for this class. When I give you a writing prompt, interpret it however you want to interpret it. Write as much as you want to write. If you want to turn it into a script instead of a um, story or a poem, instead of, I don't know, a comic strip, I don't care. I want you to respond to the prompt exactly the way that you want to respond to it. Um, and to practice these different styles of writing and to experience um, who you are as a writer because we all have different styles. Um, and don't worry about being a perfectionist and that's coming from somebody who is a perfectionist. Allow yourself to write something messy that isn't maybe what you believe to be good, um, but sometimes I'll respond to a writing prompt and it's the weirdest thing I've ever written and I'm like, hmm, that was actually kind of cool. I wanna play with this some more. And that's what I want you to be able to do. So again, I'm not worried about length. 
Some students are going to respond to writing prompts with a page. Some students are going to respond to writing prompts with a paragraph because that prompt just didn't work for them. They were not inspired by it. I'm just asking and encouraging you to write for 10 to 15 minutes a day, whatever that means to you. If you're really enjoying it and you end up writing for a half an hour, awesome. Great. Okay, but I'm not expecting that. I just really encourage you to spend some time writing every day. So assessment wise, these are formative. Um, I will ask to check these journals every once in a while. I may ask you to point out the prompt you want me to read or provide feedback on. So just stay on top of the writing prompts and enjoy the freedom to be creative. I'm here to support you. Um, if you miss one writing prompt every once in a while, it's not gonna be the end of the world. But if I see that you're making an effort in these journals and trying new things, you're gonna be getting a very solid formative grade. Um, so just know that I will be reading these. If there's ever a time where you write something super personal um, and you just want to explain it to me or you want to leave it out, let me know. Communication. So today's assignment is to write your first entry. So in that new journal that you've created using a Google Doc, here's your first entry. Looking at the strengths and challenges you identified yesterday during the personality test, I want you to write a short narrative about a moment in your life when one strength or challenge was visible. For example, one of my challenges is that I'm super sensitive. Maybe I tell a story about when my boss gave me feedback and I took it really poorly. I could share all of the feelings and thoughts that were going through my head, even if they were nonsense or crazy. It'd be fun to just like word vomit that all out onto a page. All right, so you're gonna do something similar. Maybe it's a narrative, maybe it's fiction, maybe it's nonfiction. However you interpret this prompt is how you get to interpret this prompt and you're gonna write for 10 to 15 minutes. And that's the task, that's it, all right? Okay, I will talk to you tomorrow.